Apple iPhone. I'm actually typing a new message, which we will type a message to myself. It automatically pulls up all of my different email contacts that are already in the computer. I can go ahead and choose my own and automatically fill it in. For you OSX or Mac users, it looks very familiar in terms of the bubbles for email addresses, etc. But here we're going to type a subject. We'll type test space for blog. Now you'll notice that as I'm typing keys, it types them bigger on the screen so I can see what I typed. You've got your backspace key here, returns here, your space bar. And so far I'm depressing because you don't have that tactile feel like you do with some other phone because you're not sure which button you're pressing because you don't have that tactile feel like you do with some other phones. However, that's not really all that uh, the only way that you can type with this. If you look, I can start typing and you can start typing with two thumbs kind of like you do with a Blackberry Pearl like I have or some of the other phones. But what starts happening is you start hitting buttons that you don't mean to press and it's a little frustrating. See there I type T-H-O-S, but you'll notice that the iPhone is suggesting T-H-I-S. To select that I just hit space and it changes it. If you trust that artificial intelligence in a phone, you can type a lot faster. It has this tutorial It's not picking up that, but and I keep hitting. And then you can go into your eight question marks and numbers. See if you get a little out of hand, it gets a little more complicated. But it seems to be a lot easier if you just don't pay too much attention to the letters that you're actually hitting. Trust that you're hitting near the, number, the letter that you thought you were, and you'll notice that all of a sudden the iPhone will pick up on what words you meant to press. Forget this test. I wanted to get this uh, post space just bar. because I've been seeing a lot of people talking about how hard it is to type with just one hand and one, you know, kind of hunting and pecking with one finger, but I wanted to show that that's not your only option on this phone. You can type with your thumbs, and it does work, and it actually does work a lot better, and you can type a lot faster if you do it that way. You just have to trust the phone's interface. Uh, I will say that the iPhone does get uh, smudges on the screen. Uh, the screen's extraordinarily resilient. If you've seen the video I posted from PC World where they put it through a stress test, you can see that they dropped it on concrete, they dropped it on linoleum, uh, they used keys and scraped it across the screen. This is optical glass, it's gonna be extraordinarily difficult to actually put some marks in it. Um, but what I noticed is that the smudges or the fingerprints, I'll turn the light on so you can see it, and I'll actually lock the phone, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here, but the fingerprints are there from where I was typing on the screen. You can see them when the screen's off, however, when I turn the screen on, they're completely not noticeable. Uh, so I don't think that the fingerprint issue is really an issue at all. Like I said in my post, it's a non-issue. The screen is so bright you don't see the smudges or the round it. Seeing as you've got a glass interface, it's a multi-touch screen, there's no buttons on this device other than it's a multi-touch screen, there's no buttons on this device other than this home button to take you to the, the main programs here volume control here and the actual button to lock the device to turn it off and here is a vibrate switch which actually turns on vibrate so that way you don't have to go into the phone setting to change it. I, I can't tell you how many other phones I wish had that. But there will be a much more in-depth review coming up uh, on Sunday but I wanted to put this post up to show everyone that what you may be reading concerning problems typing are coming from people who aren't giving the phone a chance and who aren't really taking the opportunity to let the phone guess at what they're typing so they're just falling back to that one finger typing and of course they're going to have problems with that. This is Finnis Price. Thank you for watching Techno Ask. A full review and tutorial on the iPhone will be up tomorrow.